What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Zell, and welcome back to Get Right or Get Wrong. So, I don't know if this is happening at everybody else's building, but I told y'all it's gonna be something behind those phones. You know, first of all, I think it's they want to just let you keep it for them to have a reason to write you up or try to like get you up out of there. <sighs> Excuse me. You know, just a reason like no, 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 no. Let's go keep them because we know they're going to keep that shit out and we're going to pull up on them and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get your paper trail rolling, get you on up out of there because shit getting ugly. We, it, like I said, I've never seen BTO like this since I've been there and I'm almost at what, three years? It'll be in October, make it three years. But like I said, I'm on, I'm on a mission to get up out of there. But um, they threw another big ass blow at us, you know. All right, y'all keep the phones, but guess what? Your break start 30 minutes earlier now. It's like, what the fuck? And I, I never really understood that because regardless, like, we're going to stop working for 30 minutes twice. So first our break was that, well, oh, our first break never changed. Let me let me rewind so that instead of going like 2-4 for y'all. The first break was always at 11. But the second break, it's like really like had people motivated like, yes, it's almost time to go. First it was at 3.30. Then they knocked it back to 3 o'clock. Now it's at 2.30. It's like, damn. It's like, yeah, uh, you get to keep the phone, but shut the fuck up. Now we're going to make y'all y'all shit last even longer. And for somebody told me it was for like CPTs or whatever, I'm like, what the hell does Problem Solve got to do with everybody as a unit? So I guess they said something these, with these numbers wouldn't get done fast enough. I'm like, it doesn't matter what time it it happens because either way it go, you lose 30 minutes. I just don't understand this shit. So it's going to be like a two-part video. I want to do a um, report on that. And um, I just got an update to, from one of my um, supporters. Damn. Let me say your name, bro. Hold on. Um, that he just informed me about the, uh, the steel toe shoes. I guess some situation happened at his site. That um, you pretty much can wear your regular shoes because there's something going on with those damn shoes. He say um, uh, it's an update on our site on our shoes. We got the notice yesterday that it's been canceled. So I guess they ain't got to wear the shoes from what he's saying. This is effective until Zappos come in. Come, hold on, Zappos come in and will do fittings for those that need them. So I figured this should take them about another month. So we might be sometime in June before they say we have to wear them again. Yes, I agree with that because, sir, like I said before, them shoes is really fucking people feet up. Like some people were getting the skin scraped off the back of their ankles. Some people saying their toes was hurting. You know, it kept rubbing up against certain shit. Like, I think Zappos just got shoes for like, what you call that shit? Um, universal shoes. They think anybody feet can just fit in these shits. That's not how it works. You got wide, extra wide, and all types of stuff. So these shoes just becoming a problem. People can't work the way they used to work. They can't move the way they used to move and stuff like that. Oh, and today, speaking of these fucking shoes. So I'm going out the metal detector. And this shit pisses me off with these metal detectors. Like, the first time I went out for my first break, I didn't go off. Now, for what a security guy told me is that they're random. Could be. You know, so I didn't go off that time. But when it was time for me, wait a minute. Fuck that. That's twice. So the first break, I didn't go off. The second break, I didn't go off. But when it was time for me to go home for some reason, the bitch want to go off. So I go through. They say go through. Took everything out of my pocket. Keys, wallet. You know, phone, all that, put it in the basket, walked through, and went off. He said, it might be your chain. Took the motherfucker off, went back through. I'm like, uh, you got on steel toes? Yeah, dick face. Like, that's what y'all telling us to wear. What are you talking about? And no disrespect to the security guard, but you know, you could tell. Like like I said before, you should have judged a book by its cover, but he looked dumb. You know, all right, so take your shoes off. This one, I got pissed, but I didn't show it. But inside, I'm like... I know this motherfucker ain't telling me to take my shoes off. So, I ain't want no fucking problems. I took the shoes off, walked through, like, man, it must be the zipper on your jeans. You can go here through. 
Everybody looking at me, I'm looking at them. They like, that shit's stupid as fuck, bruh. If that's the case, everybody should have went, should have went the fuck off. Every, mostly everybody had on steel toe shoes. I'm like, I hope, this ain't gonna be a problem all the time, is it, man? I don't know, man. I don't know. Just pretty much trying to wave me off. I'm like, nigga, I've been working here too long. I ain't nothing in here I can steal that I can't buy. The fuck, like, no, you know, I get it. You know, what I'm saying, scan your badge and the thing. I did all that shit. You know, it, it just pissed me off. I'm like, man. And then on top of that, I thought they put they had a little the little thing with the body. It shows you what's going off. This dickhead already had had that thing over there. So I was about to ask him like, yo, why don't y'all got the little the body map thing to tell you which part of your body is going off? It would have clearly told you it was probably my zippers. There's nothing on me. I'm, 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 I'm pulling my pockets inside out, jacket, all that shit. Take my hood, my hat off, because they tell you take your hat off, might be something under there. Like, what the fuck are you gonna? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That shit just pissed me off. What the fuck you gonna put under this hat? But I don't know. Maybe you can do some shit. I don't know. Maybe they caught somebody with something in their hat or inside their dress or they fro. Ain't no telling. But um, yeah, th th this little break time shit is just driving people away from Amazon more and more. And like I said, I think that's probably their goal. That's probably their goal. Matter of fact, oh yeah, I gotta match three things in the video. So it's about the break times, uh, the steel toe shoes. Oh, uh, missing punches. They they tired of that shit too. They're tired of that shit too. They making that clear. And I know a lot of people that's gonna be on their way out the fucking door. I know one dude that got fired. He was doing that shit for a month straight. I'm like, you have balls of steel. Fuck them steel toe shoes. Your balls of steel. So it says Clee Three has returned to physical time clock and time clock in and out punches. All hourly associates must use on-site time clocks to punch in and out. If you do not use the time clock to enter your punches after Tuesday, May 3rd, which is tomorrow, you will receive a verbal warning. Entering two or more missing punches after Tuesday, May 3rd, will result into additional dis disciplinary actions and can accrue up to termination. Please see HR or your manager if you have questions. All right, so I, I get it. I'm not going to lie. I get it. Me, I don't do the miss, missing punch unless, you know, my badge didn't take it because there's been times I looked at my shit to look at my time like, oh, shit, it's a missing punch. I didn't clock in. And this is why I try to tell people. I've told people multiple times in different videos. When you hit your badge to go in, the little rolling doors, they can track that. HR can track that. Whoever is tracking that, they can track that. So if you put your badge in and boom, I came in at this time and you talking about you clocked in at this time, how the fuck did you clock in and you got to get past the badge, the, the badge part door to get to the time clock? Y'all telling on yourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, the one dude, he wasn't coming to work, which is I'm trying to see how to get away with it for a month. But I kind of do understand it because they let you fuck yourself. They let you dig your hole. And then pow, they just fall in and dig you. You dead, you know. They they pretty much probably knew that that, that shit the whole time. Like he punching in from out of, out of the house. They gonna see you ain't had no activity. Did you end up? Did you pack? Did you rebend? What did you do? You have no information because you have to use a, your badge to sign into these stations. Certain places, unless you're doing like manual labor, and they have to labor track you. You know, doing your thing. So my advice to y'all, like, don't be trying to steal no time. Just chill, get in and out. I know it's getting frustrating. I, I'm here to tell you, I'm getting frustrated. It's just too much shit going on, you know, with with with, with all this other shit. And you know, you your reward for being a good worker, you got to go clean up somebody else's shit. It, it's getting old. But like I said, I'm in the process of getting the fuck out of there. You know what I'm saying? My whole little situation is gonna start June 13th. So I'm just looking forward to that shit. But it's like. God or somebody is testing me, like, all right, how much fuck shit we gonna put them through before we get them up out of there? And then when I go to that situation, that's gonna take like damn near ten weeks to complete. So I have to go through all this shit, and you know, and it's been hard for me to get sleep. So it's like fuck, I gotta put some PTO in today because I ain't going into eleven because I could not sleep all night. It's ridiculous. But um, I just wanted to give y'all that video. I don't want to talk too too long and everything. Uh, steel toe shoes, they, you know, I don't know if it's going to affect all of us, you know, what they got to do. I ain't heard it at my site yet, but, um, 
and I ain't say your name. I'm fried. Hold on. Salute to Text Bandit two four six. You the one that told me. Salute to you, homie. You always giving me the updates and shit. And you know, let's just all be nice to each other on here, y'all. We all here to help each other out and just you know spread information while we still at this Amazon. You know, salute to the to everybody that's on the same shit I'm on, trying to get up out of there. You know, salute to you if you're trying to stay there. But, you know, like I said, after three years, they try to tap us out at 18-something. I forgot. And that's not my target pay. I want. I need to be 20 and up at this point. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. I uh, appreciate all my new subscribers. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming up with more content. I'm going to start talking about me more because I don't want y'all to just see me as the Amazon guy. Like, y'all need to know who I am. Like, who the fuck is this guy we watch all the time talking about Amazon? You know, might give y'all little story times and shit, you know, or whatever y'all feel like y'all want me to talk about. Like I say, feel free to hit the comments or hit the DM and um, on Instagram, and I, I, I'm going to do all that. And there's some stuff I do see on YouTube, I feel like I need to address and voice my opinion on it. But um, stay safe. Uh... Keep wearing your mask. If you vaccinated, salute to you. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to go ahead and make dinner, even though it's late as shit, but I ain't ate yet. All right, I'll see y'all.